Hi guys, welcome to Living the Empowered Life. My name is Yvonne. This channel is all about bringing you content that's empowering, encouraging and inspiring. On this channel, I share things that I do to live an empowered life. I also share with you tips and things to help you live an empowered life. And I share book reviews on this channel of books that I've read in case you want to check them out for yourself. And from time to time, when I go to places of interest, I take you out and about with me. So if this is the type of content you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified of any new uploads and if you like the content don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. So in this video today I wanted to share with you four things that I struggled with in the first term of doing my master's degree and I wanted to do this video because I wanted to encourage those of you out there who may be at the start of your own academic journey you know doing a degree later in life or just doing a degree in general or education in general even with these four things that I share you know it, it doesn't mean that you know you can't do it you totally can. So the first thing I really struggled with was feeling overwhelmed immediately when I started doing this degree it was something that hit me almost straight away I was overwhelmed with the content I was overwhelmed with the language I was overwhelmed with the volume of the work everything to me just felt overwhelming and this feeling of feeling overwhelmed lasted all the way through you know the 12 weeks of learning content that I had to do for those of you who don't know I'm doing my master's degree online with the University of Portsmouth part-time over two years because you know I have work I have a family and everything else there's no way I could have done it over a year and you know even that has been a challenge in itself but I had this feeling all the time of feeling overwhelmed and at first I thought it was kind of a sign that maybe I had made the wrong decision but you know when I took a step back and thought about it it is not a feeling that I had not been through before as I mentioned in my book into the unknown about stepping into the unknowns of life I did talk about going through new situations of feeling overwhelmed and it is a totally normal feeling when you're doing something new it doesn't mean that you've made the wrong decision rather than looking at the whole 12 week module which is what I did at the beginning and that just kind of hit me with the overwhelm I just started to work through each week's content one day at a time and taking my time also as well what really helped with the overwhelm was speaking to my tutor understanding that you know there was no great big hurry to do all the module at once it was about pacing myself and taking my time and obviously it was important for me to you know learn all of the content because it was part of my assignment but just taking it in those manageable steps was something that really helped me with the overwhelm. I am somebody who is an author of three books. I write a lot, I write blogs, I've wrote articles, but it's completely different to academic writing. The standard of writing is different. But on the good side, it has helped me in my writing in general and this has been my best friend this book here this little book has been my best friend because it has helped me to kind of vary the things that i write vary my vocabulary very worded um, it's helped me to do things like reword stuff you know this hair has been a huge help with everything I have been doing so far. The next thing I struggled with was self-doubt. I started to have doubts about my ability, whether I had the skills and experience to be able to do something like this. But one of the things that really did help me was to go back to my personal statement when I was applying for the degree. And, you know, really go back and just have a look at that because that helped me to understand that, you know, I did have the skills and ability to do this degree and nothing had changed apart from these feelings now that I was in it doing it that was kind of telling me actually maybe I've made the wrong decision like feeling overwhelmed when you do something new or different outside your comfort zone feeling overwhelmed feeling self-doubt is totally normal it is part and parcel of that experience of stepping out into the unknown going through the content learning it taking it in, understanding a bit about what I was studying helped with that feeling of self-doubt as well. Another feeling that I really struggled with in the first term is imposter syndrome. 
oh my gosh, in the first few weeks of meeting and talking to all these kind of brain box people. <laughs> Obviously they're ordinary everyday people like you and me, but at the beginning, speaking to some of them, I felt a little bit like an imposter. I was, you know, thinking to myself, these people know so much, listen to the way they talk, listen to the way that they, uh, you know, explain things. And I started to compare myself and think to myself, okay, you know, I feel like a little bit of an imposter here. But when I spoke to one of the personal um, advisors, one of the student advisors, she said a lot of it is just fluff. You know, especially when you are reading the content and it's so wordy and complex, everything else. It can fool you to think, actually, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about here and I don't think I'm worthy of being on this course. But I had to remind myself, especially when she said that to me, everybody has their own way of wording and doing things. And just because somebody might be your wording, their post or how they explain things, doesn't make them better than you. Everybody has a different way of learning things. Everybody has a different way of putting things across. Um, and you know, that is to be respected and that is just how life is. I am deserving of this place as well as the next person. You know, because that's another thing I used to compare sometimes the way that I wrote things on the forum challenges on the online platform because that's where we have to kind of submit all our answers and we have a forum where we have group work and things like that. Um, I used to compare some of my answers to the way some other people had wrote their answers and think actually, you know, mine wasn't good enough. And I had to stamp that imposter syndrome out quite quickly because I realised it was making me feel inadequate and I had nothing to feel inadequate for. One of the things as I said that really does come up in all these things that I've explained to you so far is the newness of a situation will bring to the forefront fake feelings about things and um, that brings me on to the next thing that I was going to share which is about fear. I had a lot of fear as well you know and that acronym is meant to be false evidence appearing real. This is something that I noticed with all the four things I've shared with you so far. The self-doubt, the imposter syndrome, feeling overwhelmed and now, you know, talking about fear. All of this was all kind of brought to the forefront falsely by a new experience, by doing this degree. So, you know, I felt fear about, you know, what if I fail? What if I make a mistake? Um, what if I can't do it, feeling like I couldn't do it and all this different type of stuff. It's something that was completely just hindering me in doing my studies. How I started to combat fear was just to feel the fear and do it anyway. I think that saying comes from an author I used to, you know, buy a lot of her books, Joyce Meyer, but she used to say, feel the fear and do it anyway. And that's what I did. I started to, after a few weeks, I started to think to myself, I'm either going to stay stuck in this feeling of fear, insecurity, doubt, all this stuff, or I'm going to move forward. So what I did was just to move forward and feel the fear anyway. As I was going through the weeks, I still felt fearful, I still felt doubtful, I still felt like a bit of an imposter, but I just kept moving forward. And by the time it got to like week 10, when I had to start to, you know, really kind of get into my assignment, still not really sure what I was supposed to be doing. I just said, you know what, if I fail, I fail. At least I tried because I couldn't stay in that kind of state of limbo, you know, feeling fear, wanting to go forward and stuff. I decided just to push through and give it my all. And that is what I did. Now I've come on the other side of having these four feelings of feeling you know overwhelmed feeling imposter syndrome feeling doubt feeling fear i can say that it's just a normal part of the journey of doing something new and if you're about to do educational study or you're about to do a master's degree or you're going back and doing something for the first time really it is just part of that journey it's not something that you should be alarmed about it's not something that is a warning sign to say okay you know maybe i've made a mistake it's totally natural when you step outside of your comfort zone please don't let it put you off and I'm glad to say that I did get a really good mark in my assignment 
in the kind of uh, category that I got my assignment in, I got passed with merit, considering that I thought to myself I wasn't even going to get a pass, that I was totally prepared mentally that I would have to retake or redo my assignment to get in the bracket of pass with merit for me was an excellent achievement considering I've never done academic study before and now I'm into module two nearly at the end of that now, well end of August um, in the next few weeks preparing to submit my second assignment on August the 26th. You know, I don't have those feelings as much anymore. I still am feeling a little bit kind of nervous about this assignment because we're doing product development now and it is really, really hard, this module, module two, what we're doing. I enjoyed one more, even though I had all the feelings that I've told you about, you know, term one. But, you know, this term has been very, very difficult for a number of reasons. So. Um, I'm not sure what type of mark I'm going to get but I'm not going to feel that fear I'm just going to go forward and do the best that I can with what I know if I have to do it again or if I just get a pass I'm totally prepared for it because I've kind of changed my mindset about going forward and doing this degree you know I'm not going to let things hold me in fear I'm just going to go forward and just give it my all so I just want to share these four things with you. I hope that you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you are doing academic study for the first time, what you're finding hard um, and how you got through it or you know some of the things you're probably feeling a little bit fearful of if you're going to do something for the first time or educationally or otherwise. Let me know in the comments you know some of the things that you're struggling with feeling wise. I would love to hear from you and I will see you in the next video. Take care.